We'll be creating a Discord moderation bot in this tutorial. The bot will be able to delete messages containing curse words or links, and will also be able to ban or kick users if they break the rules. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Before we continue, please note that the bot will be written in Python and I will be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I created a video before this one where I show you the complete Discord bot setup. So if you don't have the login process set up, I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen and in the description below where you can watch a quick tutorial on how to easily set up your Discord bot. After your bot's been set up, we can go ahead and create a list containing all the curse words that we want to block out. Now, these words will need to be strings, meaning they need to be in quotation marks. So the first item in our list, you can really type anything here, but for the sake of the video, I'll be keeping it PG and I'll be typing PP. And then the second curse word, I'll be typing poo poo. You can add as much as you want here, but I'll only be choosing these two words. The interesting part with this is that we can also use the same method to block links on the server that aren't sent by anyone with a high role on the server. Since each link contains at least HTTP or HTTPS, we can type HTTP colon and then double forward slashes, as well as HTTPS colon again and then double forward slashes again. After this, we can go to the on message event where we'll be listening for incoming messages. This line of code here just checks to see if the user that sent the messages are bought. The reason we have it here is because we don't want the code that we'll be writing under it to run if the message was sent by the bot. Under this, we can say for text in block words. This will let us iterate through each of the blocked words. And for each one, we're going to check if it's inside of the message sent by the user. We'll actually be checking two conditions in this line of code. And the first one is if the user is a moderator, because I'd prefer that moderators can share links. So for this to work, you do need to have a role on your Discord server called moderator, or you can just change this code a bit. So let me show you real quick. If moderator not in str and inside string, we type msg.author.roles. This whole condition will check if the user has moderator role. And if the user doesn't, this will return true. Now, if you have a role on your server, which contain people you trust to send links and not to use curse words, then you need to type the exact role name inside of these quotations here. So for example, on my Discord server here in the roles, we can see that the exact name is moderator with a capital M. And so back in our code, moderator here is spelled exactly the same as it was inside of Discord with a capital letter M and everything. For the next condition, we'll be checking if the user's message contains curse words or a link. We'll type if text in string and inside string message.content dot lower. This will return true if there are blocked words in the user's message. So I'll be giving you a choice now. If you want to ban the user, you can type await msg dot author dot ban and this will ban the user. And then underneath here, we'll be typing await msg dot delete, which will delete the message. For the sake of this tutorial, however, I will be deleting this message dot author dot ban line because I still want to test the bot without getting banned. Then right underneath here, we need to type return. The reason is because if we detect a blocked word in a message, then the bot will delete the message, but the bot has a chance of still iterating through all the blocked words if the user used more than two blocked terms. But since we now deleted the message, the bot will get an error because it tries to look for more inappropriate words in our message when the message doesn't even exist anymore. So this return keyword will stop this loop once only one of the inappropriate keywords have been detected in the message. Underneath here, outside of the for loop, we can type print and in the print function, we can type not deleting. I'll just be using this to show you when the bot deletes messages and when it decides not to. After this, we can actually run our bot and wait for it to come online. So once it's online here in Discord, we can start typing our curse words and you'll see that any curse words get deleted. Even if we use more than one curse word, everything gets deleted. So I'll just paste the link here and we can see that this too gets deleted. Now I'll be typing a random message and we can see that the bot says it won't delete the message. I also have a moderator role on this test server. So once I give it to myself and I then try to send a link, the bot won't delete this message and also says so in the terminal. And so we now have a simple Discord moderator bot. In future tutorials, I'll be showing you how to create Discord music bots, as well as show you some other basic features of the Discord Python API. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.